Well, tonight there are questions about how a local college responded to a possible safety threat. Was it the right call to send unarmed campus security to check out rumors of a student with a gun? Well, that's just one of the questions News 4 Investigates is looking into tonight. Luke Moretti tells us Hilbert College already has an internal review underway. I didn't go to classes for a couple of days yeah. because I was worried, what if? A student in trouble with the law. It's been a living heck. A worried mother. It's been scary. The college where it happened. There is no gun. There was no gun. And a concerned prosecutor. They should have called the Hamburg Police Department immediately. There are questions about how a perceived threat at Hilbert College was handled. Are you listening? And at the center of the storm, 19-year-old Brendan Mance. Please know I'm, I'm not a violent person. I'm not a threat. Mance, who until recently attended Hilbert College, was arrested last month by the town of Hamburg police. He's charged with two counts of criminal possession of a weapon and menacing. Accused of possessing a martial arts throwing star like this and threatening a fellow student with a knife. Brendan is not a terrorist. Brendan is nonviolent. Trevia Mance, Brendan's mother, says this is the result of rumors, fear, and overreaction. She says her son is autistic and that at times his actions and words are misunderstood. This is so traumatizing to him, he never wants to go back to college. This reached a boiling point about a month ago. That's when campus safety officers received a call about a student possibly in possession of a gun. It's just because of a rumor that's been pulsing around uh, Hilbert. And from that, it turned into Brendan has a gun in his room to Brendan has a handgun in his room to the current one where it is Brendan is a terrorist and he's going to kill us all. According to incident reports obtained by News 4 and a timeline provided by the college, two unarmed campus his safety officers were directed to search Mance's room. He was not present at the time, and the search turned up no weapon. When Mance returned a couple of hours later, campus safety officers were directed to search his personal effects. Again, no weapon was found. I would call that reckless. Paul McCauley, a certified police trainer and professor emeritus at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, doesn't like the idea of sending unarmed security to a call like that. It's reckless because, surprise, you may find a gun. Not only may you find the gun, but you may find it in the hands or in the possession of a person who intends to do harm. But that wasn't the case in this instance. In fact, campus safety determined that no police action or campus safety alerts were necessary. Hilbert College President Cynthia Zane says process and procedures were followed to the letter. Everyone is safe. But it wasn't until the next day when several student reports are made that the college shared information with the town of Hamburg Police. Erie County District Attorney John Flynn. It seems to me that it that sworn officers from the Hamburg Police Department, or again, if, if you want to call the sheriffs, uh, should have been brought in to take over the situation. And the martial arts throwing star that Mance was charged with possessing? It was actually confiscated by Hilbert Campus Safety back on February 28th. News 4 has learned that Hamburg Police did not find out about it until April 18th, three days after the gun rumor. In retrospect, I believe that we could have contacted the Hamburg Police Department earlier and the DA's office earlier. Um, I've had that conversation with uh, the uh, District Attorney Flynn. Um, we have uh, identified several options in order for us to fix it. Since Mance's arrest, the college has made improvements to campus safety policies. Zane says all policies and procedures related to these recent events are now being reviewed. If other changes are necessary to be made in our policies and procedures, they will be made. Incident reports and emails obtained by News 4 show that while Mance never physically harmed a student, a series of events beginning last October kept him on the radar of campus safety. Brendan has a hard time with um, social situations, which is typical for a person with autism. 
Trevia Mance says her son gets overwhelmed easily and that he's had a tough time adjusting to campus life. Sometimes Brendan says things that people take the wrong way. Um, he doesn't mean to be mean or he doesn't mean to be offensive, but sometimes he can be. College President Cynthia Zane declined to comment on specifics involving Mance, citing federal privacy laws. We knew this student. He was part of our community. We knew the student. We knew his behaviors and he interacted on this campus for a number of months. The college did announce a new policy that requires notifying students, faculty, and staff of perceived threats. Hilbert also agreed to work collaboratively with the town of Hamburg Police Department and forge a relationship with the Erie County District Attorney's Office. Protecting the students, staff, and administrators on the campus. That, that's, that's goal number one. And that is all I care about. I want to ensure that everyone at that college is safe. What's unclear is whether Hilbert College will make public their findings from the internal review of policies and procedures. As for Brendan Mance, he's scheduled to be in court June 1st in connection with the charges filed by the town of Hamburg Police. We'll keep you posted. Luke Moretti, News 4.